Thank you for joining us today. I'd like to get started right away. As usual, I'll begin with an overview of the quarter, that is page 5 of your presentation materials. Fiscal year 2012 net sales totaled 74.3 billion yen. Operating profit was 9.1 billion yen. Ordinary profit was also 9.1 billion yen. And net profit totaled 4.51 billion yen. All results came in above forecast even after an upward revision to the initial forecast last year. This is the third consecutive year that we have reached targeted results across net sales, operating profit, ordinary profit and net profit. Moving on to highlights. In 2012, we invested 2.1 billion yen in growth products and still generated a record high 9.1 billion operating profit. Our operating pro profit forecast for 2013 is 10.5 billion. And in a brief segment report, web infrastructure was up 38.3%. Each of the products in this segment are getting stronger, and we believe the momentum of market share growth is accelerating. The internet media segment also had a solid quarter, particularly in the advertising business, which is being driven by the GMO Ad Partners Group. The internet security segment generated 4.4 billion in profit for the year. Although Q3 was weaker, in Q4 we saw a rebound in revenue as activity picked up in both the forex and securities markets. The third item on this slide is growth strategy. Monetization of GG is moving forward rapidly and net sales were up 300% quarter on quarter. Also, in the new domain business, we are expecting to launch Dot .tokyo in fall of this year. I will be talking more about both of these businesses in the final part of today's presentation. Please turn to page 7. This is our results forecast for fiscal 2013. Forecast net sales is 83.0 billion yen. That's 11.6% growth from the previous year. Operating profit is forecast to grow 14.8% to 10.5 billion yen. Ordinary profit forecast is 14.4% up from the previous year, also to 10.5 billion. And forecast net profit is 4.8 billion yen, which is a 6.2% increase from the previous year. Next year, in fiscal 2014, we expect that net sales will be in the region of 100 billion yen. In 2012, operating profit reached 9.1 billion yen even after investing 2.1 billion yen in new businesses. If that investment was not made, then operating profit would have reached 11 billion yen, and so comparatively, the 2013 forecast may seem low. The reason for this is that we have taken a slightly conservative approach to forecasts for the Forex business and for the new business segment. However, we will be monitoring progress in these businesses and will revise forecasts if necessary, as we did in the previous year. The next part of our presentation is fiscal year 2012 financial results. This slide shows profit and loss in 2011 and 2012 and forecast PL for 2013. Operating profit increased 21.6% to 9.14 billion. Ordinary profit increased 30.8% to 9.17 billion. In 2011, our corporate tax rate was temporarily lower 
due to adoption of the consolidated tax system. However, in 2012, tax rate returned to the normal level. This slide shows balance sheet. For your reference, GMO Click Holdings balance sheet is shown on the right. Shareholders' equity is growing steadily and at the end of the term was at 21.0 billion yen. Moving on, the next slide is cash flow. 13.7 billion yen was provided by operating activities. 3.09 billion yen was used in investing activities and 1.67 billion yen was used in financing activities. Cash flow at the end of the term stood at 41.89 billion yen. On this slide also, we have provided GMO Click Holdings cash flow on the right. As a whole, the group has the capacity to generate free cash flow in the region of 10 billion yen. This is a diagram of business segment composition. The group is divided into four business segments. The three segments in the upper part of the diagram are the established business segments, web infrastructure and e-commerce, internet media and internet securities. In the lower part of the diagram is the social and smartphone segment. The orange arrows represent synergies and group marketing. One of the key management policies that informs the group's business is that we do not do anything unless we can become number one. That is the policy that has pushed us to gain the number one market share in Japan for all products in the infrastructure segment and number one globally in the Forex market. The technical and marketing expertise amassed by these business segments are being leveraged in the social and smartphone businesses in order to start generating profits from the new segment as early as possible. Continues to focus on developing its strength in technology. Approximately 1,000 of our 3,152 staff are engineers or creators. We are continuing to improve employee benefits and we are also actively seeking to expand our workforce internationally. The graph you can see on page 15 shows net sales by segment. Net sales increased a significant 20.6% overall. Growth in the infrastructure segment was particularly strong at 24%. The graph on the following slide represents operating profit. In 2012, operating profit grew 21.6%. Despite aggressive investment in games-related businesses, we have been able to maintain double-digit growth for the past three consecutive years. On this slide, you can see the five major products in this segment. In the domain business, our market share in Japan is 87%. In web hosting, it's 54%. What that means is that if you do a search on Google, 87% of the results returned will be domain names registered by us, and about half of the websites that appear in your search results will be hosted by us. Growth of merchant numbers in e-commerce is also steady. We have 63,000 active merchants, and we receive about 50 applications for store solutions each day. In the domain business, we register four to 5,000 domain names daily, and at times up to 10,000 names a day. And in hosting, we are acquiring new customer contracts at the rate of around 500 per day. 
えちなみにドメインは毎日、えー、4 5 0 0件から多い時は1万件えサーバーにつきましても新規のお客様が毎日500件ないがでございます。Going forward, we will continue to expand market share in each of these product markets and aim for an even stronger number one position. In the web infrastructure segment, we have 4.4 million customer contracts. Please note that this figure excludes services such as internet provider services. Which are outside of our five major product areas. Contracts are up 17% from the previous year, but if you take a look at the past two years, you will see that contracts have almost doubled. This is a net sales breakdown of the web infrastructure and e commerce segment. In 2012, net sales grew 24% from the previous year. As you can see, growth is fairly even across all products. This next slide shows historical performance in the web infrastructure and e commerce segment over the past three years. As you can see, operating profit is up from 770 million at the end of last year to 1.02 billion yen at the end of 2012, and net sales grew 32% from 6.5 billion yen to 8.1 billion yen. In the next part of today's presentation, I'd like to talk about the Internet media business segment. In the Internet media segment, net sales grew 18.3% to 26 billion yen. In advertising related businesses, growth reached 31.1%, and this area in particular is driving growth in the segment. Between 2010 and 2011, revenue grew about 3% from 21.2 billion yen to 22 billion yen. So I think you can see that there is more growth potential in this segment. This slide shows net sales and operating profit over the past three years. Operating profit is up 14.2% year on year. I'll talk about where our media segment is strong on the next slide. This graph shows business results and stock price for GMO ad partners, stock code 4784, which is the company responsible for much of the activity in the media segment. In 2011, GMO Nikko joined the GMO ad partners group as part of an overall group restructuring. After that, the group focused on strengthening search engine advertising and investing in our own product development. And in 2012, GMO Ad Partners upwardly revised its results forecast four times. The stars you can see on this graph show when the revisions were made. Also, GMO Ad Partners' stock price has doubled over the past year, demonstrating market confidence in the company. We are extremely strong in web infrastructure and are overwhelmingly number one in the Japanese market. In the security segment, despite being one of the latest entrants to the market, we are also number one both in Japan and globally in the Forex market, and number three in the securities market by trading volume. I'll be talking about the internet security segment later in the presentation. But in the internet media market, there are many strong players, including CyberAgent, Opt, and Septini. We have even heard from investors in the past that they were not aware of our presence in the market. But as you can see, we are steadily growing this segment too. I mentioned earlier that it is our management policy to only participate in markets in which we can become number one. So, led by GMO Ad Partners CEO Shintaro Takahashi, the group is working on strengthening the internet media segment and becoming not just number one, but overwhelmingly number one in this market too. The products you can see here were all developed within the group. We have been building ad platforms using leading edge ad technologies GMO DSP, GMO SSP, Ad Result, GMO SMAD, and GMO Marketing Suite. I think these are all great products and they are worth keeping an eye on. Next, I'll talk about the Internet Security segment. In this segment, the fourth quarter was much stronger than the third after trading activity picked up in both the Forex and the securities markets. This year, we will be focusing on maximizing synergies with FX Prime Corporation, 
a company that joined the group in the fall of last year. The graph you can see here shows the world's top forex companies ranked by trading volume. As was said in the press release that went out today, in 2012, GMO Click Securities was number one in the forex market, both in Japan and globally. These graphs show market share in the securities trading business. In 2012, we achieved the third highest transaction volume in the market after SBI Securities and Rakuten Securities. Going forward, we will continue to increase competitive power by focusing on both low fees and system usability. Finally, I'd just like to add a comment about binary options. You may have heard in the Nikkei and in other media that new regulations are being introduced this spring in relation to binary options. Binary options are a derivative product that allow traders to speculate on future exchange rates using a simple yes-no proposition. This kind of trading has been very popular with retail investors in Japan. The FFAJ has established a working group to review aspects of the product, including trading units and trading term. The group is now working on a set of regulations. At this point, we cannot comment on what impact the new regulations may have on business performance until we know the content, but we will keep you updated on industry trends. The final segment is smartphone and social. In 2012, 2.1 billion yen was invested in this segment. The social games business is already making a profit contribution and Kumapon became profitable last summer. At this stage, the only business left to start generating profit is Gigi. The orange bar on this graph represents GG revenue. Monetization of the service is moving forward quickly, and as you can see, revenue grew 300% quarter on quarter in Q4. Total revenue from GG in Q4 was 250 million yen. Now, this year in February alone, we expect revenue to reach 200 million yen. In this section, I'd like to start by briefly talking about the strengths of Gigi. Three years ago, we recognized the potential that the smartphone had as a gaming device. We turned out to be correct in our observation, and today around 90% of the top-ranked 100 apps are games. We have found that many of the gamers who were using DS or PSP devices three years ago have now switched to mobile devices for games. You could also say that the smartphone has become a gaming device in its own right. This is something that we expected from the beginning, and we designed GG exclusively for the smartphone platform. As you can see here, the second bullet point on the slide is leading market technology. Through our many number one products, the group has acquired leading marketing technology and operational skills and expertise and this resource is now being channeled into the GG business. The third strength we have is our knowledge of monetization. KPI are controlled daily and even hourly. We have over 10 years experience in high-speed PDCA operation and understanding. We don't have a game industry background, but we do have a strong internet industry background. In the web industry, we are continuously fine-tuning KPI to improve service, and this is how we have maintained our leading position in the industry. 
We do this in the domain business, in the web hosting business and other parts of the group. And now we are able to apply this expertise to the game business. This is also something that cannot easily be achieved by our competitors. This combination of unique attributes is how we differentiate GG from other players in the industry. This next graph shows monthly revenue. In January, revenue from GG exceeded 100 million yen, and in February, we expected to exceed 200 million yen. Between Q3 and Q4, net sales grew 300%. I'm really looking forward to seeing how much the service grows in Q1. Going forward, GG will continue to fine-tune existing titles and introduce new games. And I'll just talk a little bit more about one of GG's strengths, marketing efficiency. Since GG was launched 19 months ago, we have spent a total of 700 million yen on promotion. That is only 700 million out of all the money we have invested over the past two years. We now have a cumulative total of 24.6 million users worldwide. So the fact that we have been able to acquire so many users, having spent only 700 million total on marketing, demonstrates marketing efficiency of this service. This next slide shows our progress on introducing games for monetization. The games you see pictured here are all games we have already launched. Many of these are card battle games which are easy to monetize, but we are developing a diverse stable of games and game categories and are using a successful game engine to develop a structure that will enable us to create a high volume of games. This slide shows Gigi's achievement to date and goals for this year. In 2012, we were successful in user acquisition and expanding user base. We saw success in our advertising, promotion and marketing strategy. Compared to our competitors, our customer acquisition cost is very low. In 2013, we are aiming to reach 50 million users worldwide. This month and next month, we'll be introducing iPhone capability and starting to generate a monthly profit in the first or second quarters of this year. We are expecting game revenue to become the fourth pillar of the group. Finally, I'll give you a brief update on the new domain business. The schedule for the introduction of over 1,500 new generic top-level domains was announced in December. What you can see on this slide are domains .tokyo, .okinawa, .nagoya, .osaka, .inc, .shop, .gmo, .nhk, .kddi, and .canon. ICANN can't introduce all new applied for domains at once, so a lottery was held last December to decide the order in which new domains would be delegated. This year, we expect these domains in this part of the slide to be launched if they successfully complete the evaluation. This is how we expect the schedule to look. ICANN oversees the industry globally and there is always a chance that their schedule may be delayed, so we cannot 100% guarantee that these domains will be introduced on schedule. But I do feel that we may have gotten past some of the bigger delays in the program already. So this is our expectation and in the meantime we will be continuing our lobbying activities. Thank you very much for joining us today. Internet for everyone.